It's time for Elijah Craig with you, single bearer selector from Cappy's Fine Wine and Spirits. <laughs> Welcome to Kilco Whiskey Musings. My name is Brian, and today we are reviewing a special bourbon. I should note I have reviewed an Elijah Craig barrel pick before. It was not from the same store. I'm going to link it up there. It's from two years ago. It is not great, but it's there. And for those of you who like the nitty gritty of this, it says barrel series number 6194311, Rick House V, floor 3. The uncorking begins. Hopefully, this will be less crazy. My fingernail's not very long. I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to make this into a thing. It's just, it's, it's, it's always a thing. Whoa. Note the mega cork on this bottle. It's glorious. Yes. Yes. I did get a whiff when I opened it, but, uh, you know, nothing crazy. Yeah. Sorry. That's, that's... That's fine. There we have the color. It's glorious. Why am I an old man? <clears throat> so, yeah. It's actually, again, whenever I do this, I'm like, well, hey, it's like a routine. I don't mean for it to be. But honestly, I thought it would be a little darker than this. It's about the right color. It's got this orange tinge to it. It's bourbonish. But for some reason, I thought it would be darker. Again, lighting point of view. You tell me what you think it is. My mother usually replies to this. No one else has yet. <laughs> Begin nosing technique. Oh. I'm thinking citrus and chocolate at the start, that's neat. There's an odd smell in here I can't quite place. I think I actually smell the char, kind of? Kind of. Unfortunately, I'm also getting that new glass clean smell, so. Joy is using a dishwasher with these, and sometimes I can tell. Sometimes. <laughs> and before I forget, this is the proof, and also all that other stuff I said. 94 proof, I think this is what the Elijah Craig is at normally. Let me know if I'm wrong. Yeah, it's like a char brown sugared thing. Kind of. It's faint though. Oh, this is reminding me of a different different bourbon I've had, but I don't know which one. Oh, ooh. If I were to guess, I would say it's either reminding me of Old Tub or Elgin Williams White Label? Hmm. I think I'm getting a hint of that baking spice stuff. I want to say cinnamon, but it could be one of those mixed ones that I'm always not sure of, like a clove or something like that. There's something about this is that's familiar and it's going to drive me nuts, but let's go on to the tasting, shall we? Oh. It's even a little free on the taste. Sweet. Is that caramel? I'm not sure. Brian's a little going down, but not, not as bad as some. That's not drying my tongue out or anything. It's lingering a little bit. It's a sweet lingering, though. So far, not bad. Cleanse the palate and then try it on my tongue for, you know, a few seconds. Mm. I don't know why I started doing this before I take a sip, but... Mm? A little fruity, a little oaky. Sweet. Oh, the burn. Not too much of a tongue tingle. Oh, there it is. It's like, like cinnamon, spicy. It's reminding me of baked bread or something. No chocolate note. I, was, I kind of thought I smelled it first, but we'll see. Hmm. I do like it. And funny enough, it's there's something different about it for a bourbon. Maybe it's because I'm getting this weird fruit note on the smell, a little bit on the taste, but I dig it. I enjoy it. All right, given kind of my basic feelings about this, I'm gonna look it up on the app I use, which is linked down below. But knowing this is a barrel select thing, there's, there's no way it's gonna be on there. So we're just looking up the regular Elijah Craig to get a general idea of what their norm is. May not line up exactly. May not have any of the tasting notes I gave. Probably will have a few though. 
All right, we start with the average price paid here, and funny enough, it's closer to 34, 35 bucks. Uh, but the store I can get it at, the regular Elijah Craig, mind you, is about 28. And with the bottle I bought, it was listed as $35. Uh, side note, when I looked this up online, as far as the regular Elijah Craig, which is what we're looking at for this case, it is uh, 94 poof. Community nose profile here is your basics. Oak, vanilla, cinnamon, caramel. Yay bourbon. I swear those are just starting in the back of my head and I expect them in bourbons. It's a little crazy. A little wonky. But I, no, it doesn't happen all the time. Keep that in mind. As with this barrel select, I got these weird fruity notes, which is not, not what usually happens with uh, bourbons. Mmm. Here we are again. <laughs> This happens, this happens with bourbons all the time. The community flavor profile is oak, spicy vanilla, cinnamon, caramel, and brown sugar. Mmm. And community finish, oak, corn, spicy, cinnamon, vanilla. Hmm. Now for the official overview, which thankfully they have listed. Origin USA, ABV is 47%, type Kentucky straight bourbon, age, no age statement. There's a little blip here. I'm going to read it, and I'm going to say, I'm going to read it a certain way, and some of you may be very excited. Some of you may just be wondering what the hell I do next. Eliza Craig's small batch Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey pays homage to a Baptist minister named Eliza Craig and his unique legacy. The bourbon is bottled from the marriage of fewer than a hundred casts of maturing bourbon, each of which is rested in Kentucky's rickhouse for a minimum of a dozen years. Maybe I should just do all my reviews in this accent. I don't think so, but I could. And the official knows. Keep in mind, once again, this is the regular Elijah Craig small batch. Not this barrel pick, but it's as close as I'm going to get. So, official knows. Honey, sweet corn, vanilla, and brown sugar. I don't think I got honey on this. Maybe sweet corn, but that's one that's always... Ooh, it's hard for me to pinpoint. Official taste. Roasted nuts, creamy vanilla, molasses. Ooh, that's a good one. And tropical fruits with well-balanced tints of dry oak and cinnamon. Yeah. I got stuff. I got stuff. Official finish is the one I was kind of confused on, but, you know, I'm not confused now because it just says very long and sweet. I would agree. It does last for a while, and it is rarely sweet. I did realize by doing this, I can't technically buy the regular Elijah Craig Small Batch review it because I just went over all of it. I have that all stuck in my head now somewhere. Maybe in another year, maybe in three months. You know, part of the reason I record these is because I probably don't remember very well what I did. Like the one I did in 2019, which again, should be linked up there somewhere from earlier. If you're interested in seeing how bad it used to be when I made these. Until next time, live long and prosper. Don't forget to be awesome. And slouch. Thank you for joining me on Kilco. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.